All right, I'm back with some more Banner Lord, and this time it's Bandit Barry. And, uh, well, maybe we should have named, since we're a wildling and not really a bandit as such, maybe we should have gone with like Wildling Wally or something, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we, uh, we finished off last time Siege in Winterfell. Somehow we came out on top and we've just nicked the home of the Starks off them, you know? We've just walked in and gone, it's a mine. <laughs> so, we'll see if that will bait a response from the Starks. We're going to have to wait for a bit because, I mean, half the army is wounded. But maybe the Starks will actually assemble an army in there? Try and take back their homeland? I don't really know. But we have an issue with Mance Raider as well, the leader of the Wildlands. We've taken two castles for this guy. We've tripled his castles. He started with one. We've given him two more. And he just took them for himself. We can't be dealing with that. We're putting our lives on the line for this man to profit. Oh, Egret's party's being attacked. Okay, they kidnapped my wife. Great stuff. We disband the army and within two seconds they've kidnapped my wife. Alright, that's it, lads. Where are they holding the wife to? She's a prisoner at Barrowton. Oh well, we need to we need to rename these little little fools, you know? You got Barry the Fourth. You got Barry the Fifth. Pretty sure I said she was pregnant again anyway. Right. Where, where have they kidnapped the wife to there? We're going for a prison break, lads. Shit, I didn't think that there'd be lords in the town that would march out and attack us. Uh, stay your hand. What would it take me to go on my way? 40k? Yeah, we'll pay 40k. Right, now let me into the town. Ah, oh, man. Can't pull off a prison break. Quest a meeting with this dude. Hey, buddy. Uh, can, can you give me back my wife? No? All right, lads, this was a complete fail and cost me 40 grand. They won't give me back the wife. In that case, we're just going to go back to Winterfell and just chill, you know? Hang on a minute. We didn't chase you, mate. You came after us. Oh, she's 53 cavalry. Oh, no. No wonder the dude attacked us. You can see why this dude attacked us now, knowing there's about 50 horses coming over that hill. Oh lord. Cavalry! Where's my cavalry? We have two. Move! One of them looks like a farmer who's just took his like father's horse or something. It doesn't even have a saddle. Oh no. Although he's got Frankenstein's horse, you can see where the limbs are stitched on. Fair enough, buddy. Right. If they don't cavalry charge straight away, the archers might be able to take something down. Oh no, they're cavalry charging, lads. They're coming. Brace for impact. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. They're running circles around us. As long as I keep hitting the odd one. You know, someone is bound to cut this dude off his horse. Maybe we need a longer sword. Infantry, 
May as well just send the infantry in, you know. Oh shit. Oh, what? Clubbed from behind? Oh no. I thought the infantry was all in front. Where'd that dude come from? I think it's fine though. It's fine. Make peace with House Bolton, our kingdom will pay. No! Don't pay 2k a day to a guy who has zero strength. He's in five different wars. But I don't think we pay, I think only Mans pays. So in which case, that's fine. He can make peace with whoever he wants as long as... Oh no, we're paying 27 a day towards it. 55? You son of a... Right. Next time, we're installing the diplomacy mod. And we're just overthrowing Mance when he pulls this shit. <laughs> I will challenge him to the Wildling Throne. <laughs> Rebels in Castle Black have risen against their lord. Oh. God damn it. Castle Black is now filled with rebels. Ah, oh. I don't care. I don't care. I've had enough. Castle Black, the rebels can have it. They want me to pay two thousand for my wife. Ah, you can have her, lads. I ain't paying no fees. Oh, the coup wins of uh, have shown up to take uh, Winterfell. Well, it's time to put on the old charm. Request a chat with the leader. No? No, you won't go against your pal there, Dodd. Alright, surrender? No? I don't know why we do these things, lads. Why do we still parley? The attackers have abandoned the siege. Oh. Maybe the talks worked, eh? Either that or they didn't buy enough food for the winter. And to be honest, it's, it's, I'm assuming it's the food. Oh yeah, they're back. <laughs> I don't think our talks had anything to do with it. Your wife has given birth. Okay. Well. You shall be called. Barry? Actually, no. No, no, no. You're not Barry. You're just Kev. Good old Kev. Got enough Barrys now. There's five of us. You're just Kev. This does mean that when, like, Barry the second is old enough and has kids, he has to name all his kids Barry, but it'll be like Barry the second, the first, Barry the second, the second, Barry the second, the third, then you'll have Barry the third, the first, Barry the third, the second. <laughs> That's all. Someone look at my family tree. It's just all berries. From top to bottom. Just berry. Well, the defense of Winterfell has begun. Don't really know where we're going. We have some kind of... The castle split with like an inner wall and outer wall. Um, we're just following the lads, I guess. Okay, they only had a ram and I think the ram is gone. So they've resorted to ladders. And they're storming the ladders right now because, well, ram is gone. Fair enough. Um, I got my rocks at the ready. Let's get rocking, lads. Do do do. <laughs> uh, watch out for there, pal. Have a rock for good luck.
You get a rock, he gets a rock, everyone gets a rock! <laughs> You know, if only these rocks were weapons that you could just equip and always go into a battle with a rock. I don't know how the other side of the castle's holding up. I'd like to believe it's doing well. Uh, we'll have to head on over there. I think there's a bunch of them. All right. Excuse me, lads. Coming through. Oh, come on. Let's try and wiggle our way through. Oh. No. Ah! Okay. We'll we'll just run. It's fine. Excuse me, lads. Got a rock coming through. Okay, so this is the other breach point then. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. Um. Oh, God. This is going to be a pain, isn't it? Maybe we can throw our rock from up here. Maybe. Ah, overshot it, lads. Overshot the rock. Dunk. I see some rocks would be perfect right now. Someone just throw an axe up at me. Someone down there, that dude right there is throwing axes at me. They're all running away. I don't think this is good. Oh, actually, no, they're fleeing. Okay, I thought they were all running to the other side. I thought they might have been in or something. Never thought to visit the keep of Winterfell before. Looks a bit odd having wildlings guard the, uh, <laughs> guard the entrance. But, uh, let me just take a seat, you know? Yeah. We made it, lads. We made it. Although I say we made it, we're pretty much an imposter. Winterfell is now ours. <laughs> it's man's raiders. Now, what's the situation here? They have about 500 defenders chilling in here. Okay. We just starve them out, lads. We do have more food than them. We just go starve them out for 160 days. I don't think we're getting anywhere near these uh, these rebels, are we? Trying to siege while outnumbered two to one. Well, over two to one. It's not gonna go well, is it? Um, is there anyone I can call? There is not a single wildling army I can actually call. Build a trebuchet. So I saw a tactic that said build a trebuchet. We're going to test if this tactic works. And then as soon as it's built, move it to reserve and build a oh, reserve. Oh, you can't build another one, can you? Maybe if we pause it, put one in, build a second one, then move that one to reserve. What for royal commissions? The influence cost of creating an army is reduced for the ruler. Armies led by the ruler. Armies led by the non-ruler cost more. Man's Raider's just doing it all for himself. Every option he makes only benefits him. It's the ultimate screw you to us. We're sieging the castles. We're winning the wars. <laughs> and then this dude just passes laws that screw us over. <laughs> Why am I a wildling? But yeah, now we'll build this other trebuchet. And then as soon as that's built, we can move it to reserve. And then once the fight starts, we can uh, put them both into the fight. 
I'd like to believe these two trebuchets will allow us to tear them apart. But part of me also says there's just too many of them. I don't think I've ever got to fire a trebuchet. Um, Who's the one who fires it? You? Uh, where'd that land? Not, not that great, to be honest with you. Now we wheel it back down. Yeah, I'm on. Um, maybe we're supposed to aim over there. Maybe that's closer. Lads, no one's no one's put a rock in the trebuchet. Uh, how does one put a rock in the uh, the old trebuchet? <laughs> oh, he's got a rock. Put the rock in, pal. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Cool. Okay, maybe we aim for that group right of the tower. I think I was too far right. Way too far right. Okay, we'll leave it to the AI. I think this was a complete disaster. We've lost half our men before we've even reached the walls of the castle. I think this siege is over before it's even begun, lads. They do say never to attempt a siege with less number than defenders. You're always supposed to massively outnumber the defenders, and even then, it can go badly. Our shield is too small to block a single bloody arrow. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna kill this dude. Just so I can say I killed someone. There you go. Instead of 500, there's now 498 of them. I'll attempt to climb the ladder. But to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to get shot off. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This one... Uh, this one wasn't the smartest of decisions. Even with the trebuchets, they did barely anything. Um, now we're going to have to make a dash for it. Oh, no. Oh, no, Rob Stark. Please. Please have mercy. Please. No. Oh, lads. Lads, lads, lads. Here I am chatting shit about Mance Raider's decisions. And I do some stupid shit like that. <laughs> oh. It was more of a test to see the trebuchet tactic, but to be honest with you, it was never going to pay off, was it? I do need a bigger shield. If I'm going to use... I feel like if I'm going to use one-handed shield, I need like a kite shield or like a body shield. Otherwise, I may as well just go two-handed. There's no benefit to like having... This shield blocks no projectiles. That's the only reason I wanted it. And give the new bow a little test. A bit faster to shoot, which is nice. Ah. Uh, we can win this, lads. Don't give up. Told formation. Have faith in the process. Have faith in the process. I'm out of here, lads. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry, lads. I have led you all to your deaths. I'm sorry, men. I'm truly sorry. Oh, the mighty has fallen, eh? You know what? I blame Man's Raider for this. He made me salty towards the wildlings. If it wasn't for Mance, I wouldn't have been annoyed. Oh god, they freed us, but it's like a minefield. How am I going to get... I stand no chance getting away from any of these. Yep, now you're going to pop me back in the prison cell. We don't move fast enough on the map to outrun any of them. Now we're being dragged off into the woods. What's going on here? No, I, ain't, I ain't paying. I refuse to pay. May have me prisoner, but I'm a stubborn fool. Could it get any worse for us at this point? Or have we hit the like rock bottom at this stage? Is the only way up. <laughs> Gotta be optimistic when in uh, situations like this. It's the only thing they'll get you through. Hey, we're out, lads. Only after like 12 days or something stupid like that. Okay. Oh, and we've been captured because our movement speed sucks. Uh, What would it take for you to... No. All right, I guess I'll just fight you to the death. I mean, my death being very soon. Um. Well. I guess this is it again, lads. Oh, no. All right. If this is how I die, so be it. Attack! <laughs> and now we're just going to get thrown back in the dungeon, aren't we? For like another 10 days or wherever. Ah, oh, it's a rough one, lads. It is a rough one. I don't know if we're ever going to get back north. As soon as he stop the next city he stops at, whether it's this one or the Dread Fort, he's gonna put us in a cell. And then that's it. We're just gonna rot in a cell for another ten days. Till someone captures us again. Okay, we're free again, but can't Right. Um if I go into my bag. You have to ditch these three horses, sadly. They were nice, expensive horses as well. But I've got to ditch them because we get a herd penalty because there's more horses than people to use them. And maybe the speed boost we gain from losing the horses will be enough that we can kind of make our way back. It's Tormund. Tormund, my friend. We'll join the army. Oh. Friendly faces. It's been so long, lads. We spent about a month in prison. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to begin the road to recovery again. I think I'm just going to stick it out with this army. Siege Castle Black. If we can take that and make it safe again, that'll push the enemies south. And then I'll run north and assemble the biggest wildling army I can. And make a return. We're clan tier 3, which means we can pull in 380 wildlings. So I think that's the plan. We'll have to go from there and see how that all plays out. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. As always, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Until next time, see ya!